Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Welcome to your extra turn love readings for January 2019. If this does not resonate with you, check your Moon, your Rising, and Venus sign. Remember, these are general readings and they're not going to resonate with everyone. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want more clarity on your own situation, like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link below. And also, please. Please, please, please make sure that you put the right information into the description box so that uh, when I get done your reading, I make sure it goes, it goes to the right place, okay? Um, so like if you want to reference, um, use this email instead of that email, make sure you just put it in your description, okay? Thank you so much. Sorry, I don't mean to put it on the video like that, <laughs> but I was just dealing with a lot of personal readings, so. All right, let's get to work here. <laughs> You're probably like, come on, <laughs> hurry up already. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to rise Venus sign. Tell me what's going on with their ex's romantic love, current romantic love life for January 2019. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Page of Cups. So something to do with messages of love or maybe even some young water sign person. Okay. What is the blockage here for Aquarius, someone arising, a Venus sign, and their ex um, returns? Like, uh, what is blocking them from reconciling for January 2019? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. The High Priestess. Someone's not using their intuition. Or there's something that's yet to be revealed. The blockage also is beyond someone's control because it's a major arcana. Okay, so it could be that just something's get to be revealed here. All right. How does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, how does their ex, God, I'm really using really proper English today. How does their ex um, feel about them romantically, January 2019? How do they feel about them romantically, January 2019? Ooh, I don't like this card. <laughs> Eight of Swords. So they're not even facing their thoughts. They're not even thinking. They're kind of like stuck. Like this person's kind of just like not even facing their thoughts. You see that? Their back is turned. They're kind of not even dealing with it. I'm sure you know kinds of people, all kinds of people. Yeah, I'm sure you know all kinds of people that don't deal with things like and instead of not dealing with things they drink or instead of not dealing with things they do other things that are addicted kind of behavior whether that eating food or whatever um this person is just not dealing with their emotions they're not dealing with their thoughts okay how does aquarius sun moon, rising and venus sign how do they unblock the situation so that they can have a reconciliation with their ex for january 2019 Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Ten of Swords. So you got to wait for this person to get over whatever they have to get over. Because this is Ten of Swords. This has to come to completion. So someone's really hurt here. And obviously this person is not even dealing with their emotions. Okay. How does Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs X feel about a reconciliation with them January 2000? Okay, too many cards, Spirit. How do they feel about a reconciliation with them January 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Page of Swords. So they, they're, they're just trying to gain perspective. They are not even using their emotions. They may want to communicate with you with the Page of Swords. I'm going to have to do some clarity, but it may be like an immature kind of communication. Uh, maybe some name callings or whatever. Hmm. Okay. But I don't know until I clarify. But uh, pages are definitely messages. So they want to have some communication, but your advice to unblock the situation is let this pain or this ending complete. And obviously the blockage is someone's not using their intuition. So I'm curious more or less of why this page of cups is here. 
Someone's not gonna, someone's not being honest about something in the past. Okay. Why is the page of cups here for the ex's current romantic love life? I always forget to look at the camera. Like, I'm also in these cards. So wins these cards. All right, anyway, <laughs> why is the page of cups here? The high priestess. So I see. You know, look how this person is guarding their cup. This is your ex. This is representing your ex. They're kind of guarding their cup. They kind of feel like they want to communicate with you, but they're kind of guarded. The high priestess is here because it's them. They're not using their intuition. <laughs> Maybe you've offered something to them and they're not using their intuition on it. Whoever I'm talking to. Why is the high priestess here? Knight of Cups. Okay, so whoever I'm talking to, what, whatever, whoever I'm talking to, I will say whatever. Whoever I'm talking to, Aquarius wise, I think you have may have offered them something. Uh, but your ex is so caught up and not dealing with their emotions and their thoughts. That's why your your advice is to just allow them to use the blockage right now is someone's not using their intuition. So whoever I'm talking to here, um, you potentially may have approached them. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the feelings? Yeah, they felt left out in the cold. That's why they feel that way towards you. Why is the Ten of Swords here for the advice? Uh, they feel like you have to be honest with yourself um, with the seven of swords um, that something needs to come to a, a completion with this pain something needs to, to happen with that why is the page of swords here they feel hurt why is the page of swords here they're kind of weighing some options with the two of Pentacles and something's not quite in balance here. So they may even want to talk to you about that imbalance uh, because obviously they were hurt about something. They felt like you left them out in the cold. They're not really using their intuition when it comes to these emotions. Let me get one more card on this page of swords. So there may have been something else going on here, maybe third party or something, uh, or someone's waiting to really communicate until they're, they're feeling like they have a balance, maybe until things turn in their favor, they feel like, uh, for a new opportunity because someone's stuck in their head here with the Nine of Swords, I think it's your ex, and they're coming also in as the King of, so uh, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so they're really feeling a lot of pain and hurt from whatever situation was going on, for whoever I'm talking to. Alright, so let's find out. Will you guys have a reconciliation? So, will Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for January 2019? Will they have a reconciliation? Hmm. Well, that's a good sign, actually. However, there is a stipulation with the Queen of Cups. She does represent someone who is really careful with their emotions and who they give their cup of love to. So they still may be a little bit guarded because of uh, some kind of imbalance with the Six of Pentacles when it comes to love with the Empress. So yes, this is a positive card and yes, there's gonna be some movement here, but just uh, allow this person to deal with whatever happened with them. They're still feeling a, a lot of hurt and pain from it. Let me get some advice for you. Aquarius, someone rising in Venus sign, what advice do you have for them? The romantic love life for January 2019 for their ex returns. What advice do you have for them? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. 
Hmm. That's strange. New love. <laughs> Your advice is new love. A person, new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Very soon. <laughs> Let's get a card on that. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, what's up with this new love card, please? Ah, so some kind of mental clarity is going to come out of this situation when it comes to the Queen of Cups, I see. So, so guys, your advice in this situation is new love. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. That's, that's, uh, that's definitely something interesting. So apparently you're going to gain new perspective when it comes to dealing, maybe you're dealing with a water sign currently. Uh, for your ex, but you're going to gain some kind of mental clarity and you potentially may decide to have new love <laughs> for your advice. <laughs> That's interesting. And yeah, so you may advise, you may decide to have some kind of new love or your advice is to have this new love, maybe because of, of some kind of mental clarity surrounding this person, this ex that you're dealing with. Um, so anyway, yeah, that was an interesting <laughs> read, Aquarius. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And again, um, uh, happy new year to you. And I appreciate all the comments that you guys have um, written to me this year. And I really thank you so much. I feel very blessed for you guys to listen to me every time I upload a video. So thank you so much.